Our judges have completed the placings in the component merit class in our 2014 International Bronze Swiss Show. At this time, I'd like to recognize our production award winner in the class. She is added entry 3120, Blessing Bonanza Francie, exhibited by Richmond Farms Incorporated and Starmark Farm of Lodi, Ohio. At three years, four months, Francie had 305 days, 27,820 pounds of milk, 1,132 pounds of fat, and 910 pounds of protein. Now I'd like to introduce our third place winner, as well as our winning junior entry and the winning junior production award winner in the class. She is entry 2170, Velker's Lovery Mo, exhibited by Dane Velker of Perryville, Missouri. Mo had five years, two months, 305 days, 25,169 pounds of milk with 1,099 pounds of fat and 863 pounds of protein. Second place in the class goes to entry 2174, Cruzies 4M Jason Sherry, exhibited by Ken Main and Peter Vale of Copake, New York. Entry 2170 is also our best utter in the class, I might add, so congratulations once again to Dane Velker. Our winning entry in the class and best bred and owned is entry 2180, Jody Prelude Nancy E.T., exhibited by Jody Capini of Lowville, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, you're winners of the Component Merit class. Congratulations. And now for his remarks, Judge Top. Well, another great class. We got cows range from six years to 13 years in this class, but uh, maybe not a cow that jumps out at you like it has in the last several classes. But the cow we're starting out with, you think she's a cow, you just love the dariness, you love the angularity, you love the length, the frame that this cow has. Also a cow that walks on a tremendous set of feet and legs. I did make her second best stutter in the class, but you admire this cow. She's silky, ultra dairy cow. You admire the length that she has throughout, but also a cow that walks on a tremendous set of feet and legs. I'm giving her an advantage a little nicer today in her uh, fours to rears today over the beautiful, well-balanced cow coming out in second. You admire the second place cow. Follows with that dairy frame, sharpness, angularity, sharp shoulder, uphill run, a lot of straightness across the top line. Just like the uh, smoothing her out in that fours to rears today, but another cow uh, exceptional in her own mind. Cow coming out in third is a cow that's been milking for 18 months. You admire this mammary system. A cow, you know, just spells dairiness all the way through for milking for that long. But I did make her the best stutter cow in the class. I think a cow is just going to get better as she gets older. Cow is six years old. You admire the mammary system on this cow. When you get behind her, she's got as good a rear udder in the class. She goes ahead of the cow and forth on that straightness across the top line. A little more correct in the mammary system, a little more height than with the rear udder today. Also snugger in her forward attachment than the ultra dairy cow coming out and forth. Fourth over fifth, I give an advantage, a little more definition of seam today than the real ultra dairy coming at cow coming out in six. You admire the sixth place cow, beautiful side profile cow. When you get behind her, you don't have to like to change that rear udder. Have a little more definition of seam, a little more height than width at the top of the rear udder. But she has an advantage, she's so much more longer for men to end, gives him a little more size and scale, a little more stretch throughout. It's a rather close placing to six to seventh. We almost talked about switching them back and forth. But I like the sixth place cow. I love her dariness. I love the femininity through the head and neck today. But a beautiful rear rudder cow coming out in seventh. But a nice group of component cows.